Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you about some Facebook privacy settings to change. There's a lot of concern these days about large social media platforms having your data. Mm -hmm. These settings will help you have more privacy on Facebook. Right. There's pretty much no better data gathering platform about you than Facebook. Every time you like something, and then every time one of your friends likes something, they can build this network. Yeah. And it's amazing just how much information they have on us. And the way that we know about it is that when we run ads, we can target people who live in Oklahoma, who like Shania Twain, who also have a house that's worth $250,000 and on and on and on. So let's get to these settings. Right, so let's open up the Facebook app and tap on that little menu in the lower right hand corner of the screen and scroll down to settings and privacy. Then tap settings. Here we go. Everything we're going to be doing is in this part of the Facebook app. Mm -hmm. So let's start with security and login. First thing we want to talk about is two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. Two-factor authentication just means that somebody needs more than just your password to be able to log into your account. Kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but it's necessary for personal privacy. Yep, so I'll tap on that and then select the security method. They recommend using an authentication app. What do you think we should do? Authentication app or text message? I think a text message. All right. Well, I know that the authentication app is supposed to be more secure, but the text message is just easier. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Than having to open a separate app every time. Yep, so I'll tap continue. That's my phone number. Yep, that's blurred we'll, out. We'll blur that out. Yep. There we go. Six digit code is being sent to my iPhone. There it is. Tap continue, enter your password. There we go, two-factor authentication is on, nice and easy. Yeah. Tap done, all set. The iPhone's really good at automatically inserting these two-factor authentication codes too. Mm -hmm. The apps are okay, I have to use the apps, like Authy, mm -hmm. for some of the applications that we use that require more security than just a text message. But I'm telling you, the text message thing is a lot easier and it still is secure. Great, so let's tap back and Tap back again. Next thing we want to talk about is facial recognition. We want to turn off Facebook's ability to recognize your face. Hmm. Uh, they should just call it book. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll scroll down to privacy and tap face recognition. Do you want Facebook to be able to recognize you in photos and videos? I don't. I do not want Facebook collecting data about my face yeah. and then using that data for who knows what. Yeah. There's actually a lot of um, privacy concerns these days about facial recognition software and there are some new bills being passed in Congress or being proposed anyway to mm. actually ban this because of the uh, security risks. I mean, just, just imagine how much data they have on us. Yeah. If they can analyze every photo that everyone is uploading, not just ours. Mm -hmm and then figure out where you've been, it'd be so easy for people that take pictures to be identified, even the people that don't want to be. Yep. So we'll tap no. There we go, nice and easy. Face recognition is off. Next thing is location services. So we're gonna go back to the main page of the settings here and tap on location. First thing, location services, we're gonna set this to never. So we have to actually go to the settings app for this, huh? Yep. Take you to the settings app, tap on location, set to never. Now Facebook isn't gonna track your location where you are all the time. This right. also can save battery life too. Yeah, and if you do want Facebook to be able to know where you are, because sometimes people do want that, mm -hmm. definitely choose well using this app and don't choose always, because Facebook does not need to know where you are when you're not using the app. Yep. That's sort of the creepy one. So either never or well using this app. Great, so we'll go back to the Facebook app, we'll go back to settings here, and then I'll just open the app switcher by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. Yep. Next thing here, Facebook setting for this account. My location history is on. This is kind of like significant locations on the iPhone where it just saves a list of every place you've been. I wonder how many apps are actually doing this. It's probably it's quite a few. all over the place. Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that switch off. I don't want Facebook saving a list of all the places that I've been. Right, why do they need to know that? I don't know. I know where I've been. The next thing we're gonna do is turn off Facebook's ability to send you extremely targeted ads based on data that they've collected about you. So how do we do that? Yep. Let's go back to the main page of the settings here and we're gonna scroll down to ad preferences. Here are your Facebook ad preferences. We're gonna tap on ad settings. Too bad you can't just say none. Yeah. <laughs> and then tap, tap on ads based on data from partners. Data from advertisers, app developers, and publishers about your activity on Facebook help us show you relevant ad, relevant and useful ads. It includes your use of partner websites. Mm -hmm. Who are those? Like every single website. So like, 
here we go. Payitforward.com has the Facebook pixel. Mm -hmm. The Facebook pixel runs in the background of pretty much every website that you visit because it allows people that run ads to target you. So yep. imagine if you went to Travelocity, then you're on Facebook. Travelocity wants to know who was already on their website and what pages they looked at so that they can pay more money to put ads for Cancun or whatever in front of that person. That's why you see ads. This is gonna turn off their ability to do that. Yep, so to turn this off, tap continue in the lower right hand corner of the screen and then just turn off this switch next to allowed. Now it is not allowed. Right, they really don't want you to do this one. <laughs> They say that turning it off is gonna still show you the same number of ads. Maybe, maybe, because advertisers aren't gonna pay to put ads in front of you if you're not worth it. Right. So maybe, you might see fewer ads, to be honest. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the last thing, you just tap save, lower right-hand corner of the screen. Your choice has been saved, tap done. While we're here in the ad settings, let's just go ahead and tap on ads based on your activity on Facebook company products that you see elsewhere. Kind of the same things that we just turned off. Mm -hmm. uh, just go ahead and tap on that. Scroll down and select no. Done. Easy. There you go. The last thing we want to talk about is the Internet Research Agency. That was the Russia-linked troll farm, for lack of a better term, that created a bunch of fake Facebook pages and tried to interfere with the U.S. elections in 2016. Facebook has a way to see if you actually accidentally liked one of those pages. And we can, <laughs> accidentally, we can drop a link to that in the description section below. And basically, if you go to this page, it'll say, hey, here are a list of the internet research agency accounts that you've liked or followed or whatever. Yeah. And just go ahead and unlike those. Yeah, they should call it a, the sucker page. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so just check out that page. Make sure you're not you're not following any of these IRA. Well, I guess I hadn't liked or followed any of them. Yeah, I haven't either. I was uh, I was good. Yeah. I mean, I don't really use Facebook that much anyway. Right but right. when I was making this video, I, was, I realized I had all these settings turned on. Yeah. And I was. Ugh. Well, it's all by default. Yeah. They just turn everything on. You hit agree to their terms and conditions, yeah. and you've given your life away. If you've used Facebook for a while and you just never went into this part of the Facebook app. I mean, all, all this stuff is probably on. It's been on for years. Those are some Facebook privacy settings to change now. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.